This last fortnight I have been stuck in quarantine here in London. I, I shouldn't grumble, the reason that I am quarantining is because I had the huge good fortune to go to Paris a couple of weeks ago. In fact, just before I did the last of this series of videos, I was in Paris with um, Ensemble Pygmalion doing a production of a Rameau opera at the Opera Comique. Now, the original plan was that we were going to be there and do a considerable run of performances and had Corona not struck I would have just arrived back from this patch of work. So this fortnight I wanted to find a piece of music associated with the Opera Comique in Paris and alighted upon another transcription by the French horn player Francois Premond. Um, those of you who've been following this might remember I did a transcription he had done of the slow movement of the Beethoven Sonata Pathétique months ago now. And Bremond did this transcription of a wonderful aria, the cantilena uh, for Gerard from Delibes' Lacme, a piece that was premiered at the Opera Comique. So I thought it would be fun to play this piece because of the association with the Opera Comique and quite frankly I'm missing the Opera Comique at the moment. So that was why I chose that piece. The instrument I decided to use is this um, corpiston, another corpiston that I have. This is an instrument that I bought about oh, almost a decade ago off the uh, French instrument dealer uh, William Petit and it is a Rao but it's probably just after Rao, uh, Marcel Olgut Rao handed over to L'Abbé. The reason I suggest that is because of the address being uh, Rue d'Angoulême, number 66 Rue d'Angoulême, which is the L'Abbé address um, rather than Rue Serpent, which is where Rao was hanging out. Um, and this is, this instrument, when I first got it, it struck me as a bit of a curious instrument. There's a few odd details about it, which I don't associate so much with uh, Marcelo Gutrao or L'Abbé shortly after him. For example, there is a, a strange band here, which at first made me wonder whether it was actually a cut and shunt, that it was two instruments that had been um, amalgamated together. But I don't think that's what that is doing there. There's also the valve block is unlike a lot of Rao or uh, L'Abbé valve blocks that I know. That's not entirely unusual because like the instrument that I used uh, last week for the uh, Dunhill, um, oh no it wasn't that, it was a few weeks earlier I used that instrument. Um, it's not unusual to find uh, natural horn bodies by Rao with later valve blocks added. Um, but this one's a bit curious and there is this detail here this stay, this sort of V or Y shaped stay, which is much more um, alike the details you get on instruments by the other, um, another Parisian maker, Alary. I wonder whether this horn was either a natural horn and then the Alary workshop put a valve block on later, um, or whether it was maybe even damaged. There's various things on the bell that makes me wonder whether this is a uh, 1860s La Bechau, which has been repaired by the Hallery workshop at some point in the late 19th century. Either way, it's a nice instrument. Um, I like it a lot and it felt like an appropriate instrument to use for the Lacme aria. And the, the final detail for this particular one is like um, a number of other videos in this series, I decided to have a look at some early recordings to see what expressive qualities I can steal. And um, the influence for this particular video is uh, Edmond Clément, a French tenor, who made his debut at the Comique, um, who sang the role of Gérald, and I've been listening very much to his, I think, 1919 recording of this aria, 
Um, so we've got a probably 1860s row with maybe a Halerie Elf block um, with Francis uh, Bremond's, um, I think it's 1890s transcription of Gerald's aria from Lacme, influenced by Edmond Clément's interpretation from 1919. So that's all the information from this one. If you've been enjoying these videos, the performances, all the horn geekery, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can follow lots more of this sort of um, details and performances in the coming weeks and months.